Welcome to the News Hub. I'm Rolf Winkler. Breaking news out of the Middle East. Egyptian troops have staged a deadly crackdown on anti-government protesters in Cairo. Reports of the death toll vary, but an official with Egypt's Ministry of Health says at least 10 civilians were killed and 100 were injured. For more details, watch a report from the scene from journal reporter Maria Abi Habib on WSJ.com. Meanwhile, the Israeli and Egyptian armies are quietly cooperating to fight Islamist militants along their border. The latest evidence appears to be an Israeli drone strike in the Sinai Peninsula. Adam Entis has details. He's in Washington. Adam, good morning. Good morning. So uh, cooperation in the Sinai is increasing, it seems. Tell us about this drone strike. Well, I mean, uh, what happened was uh, last week, uh, according to uh, Western officials who have, uh, have uh, intimate knowledge of the arrangement, uh, the, uh, the, the Israelis uh, contacted uh, their Egyptian counterparts uh, about uh, a group of militants that appeared to be preparing to launch rockets across the uh, border uh, into Israel uh, and uh, told them that there was an imminent threat uh, and, uh, and they uh, received uh, consent from the Egyptians to carry out this drone strike, uh, which is uh, very rare. And what it shows is really how close-knit uh, the uh, security services are, particularly since uh, the ouster of uh, President Morsi in Egypt. Why, why is that? Why have they begun to cooperate so much more? Right. Well, there was, of course, this uh, lingering tension between uh, Israel and Egypt uh, during uh, Morrissey's time as president, because Morrissey is, of course, connected to the Muslim Brotherhood, which uh, is an ally, uh, a longtime ally of Hamas, the uh, Palestinian uh, militant group which controls uh, the Gaza Strip. Uh, so what you saw when Morrissey uh, uh, left, and, and first, first, to a certain extent before he left, in the months uh, before he left, a kind of uh, growing um, uh, sense that uh, both the Israeli security forces and the Egyptian security forces faced a common enemy uh, in the Sinai, where you saw a uh, growing Islamist uh, radical presence uh, and uh, growing numbers of, uh, of weapons, including more sophisticated weapons, uh, come into that area. And uh, you started to see the, uh, the Egyptians slowly lose control of that part of the country. And this is a critical part of the country. Uh, it has the Suez Canal, which is, of course, the, the, uh, uh, where a lot of uh, oil is brought uh, 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 through the region uh, in, into the Mediterranean. And uh, this is a, a, a key uh, choke point. Uh, and obviously, any kind of attack in that area would be potentially devastating for oil markets. So uh, likewise, likewise, you have the Alat Airport, which is in southern Israel, which is very close to the Egyptian border and could easily be targeted. Okay, so you, there, there's obviously room for cooperation. The Egyptian army wants the Suez Canal protected. That's a, that's a huge source of national income for Egypt. Right. On the other hand, the, the Israelis don't want the flow of weapons going uh, into Hamas via tunnels in the Gaza Strip, uh, as you mentioned a lot. Now, uh, talk about one other ways in this, this works out for Egypt. Uh, Israel is really, I, I, the, 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 the flow of U.S. aid to the Egyptian right. army. H how has that been affected? Right, so uh, what you're seeing here is a little bit of uh, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. So the, uh, the, the, Isra the Egyptians are providing this increased cooperation uh, uh, to the Israelis, which the Israelis, of course, uh, greatly appreciate. And what you're seeing is that the Israelis uh, here in, in Washington, where they have tremendous clout, have been uh, pressing the Obama administration and members of Congress not to cut off uh, the uh, 1.5 billion dollars in aid that goes to the Egyptians. Now, of course, the crackdown that we saw today uh, will have an impact on the American decision about aid. So a lot of these things are, are remain in play. But the fact that Israel is, uh, is getting behind the Egyptian military to such an extent that they're using their Washington clout to try to protect their money, it shows uh, the extent to which these, these two governments and these two militaries, I should say, mm -hmm. are working, uh, working very closely together. Okay, Adam Entis in Washington. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much.